Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Jeremy from Whistlekick. This is episode 259, and you are listening to Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking us out on, well, whatever day you're listening. It brings me so much joy, I guess is the word, to know that you're spending time listening to my voice. It's kind of cool knowing that when I talk into this microphone in an empty room, that there are people out there later who are going to listen and Based on the feedback we get, most of you, the vast majority of you, enjoy listening to what I say. And that's really cool. On today's episode, we're going to do sort of double duty. We're going to talk about a new website that we soft launched and I'm ready to really push out into the world now, but also why it's out there, the gap that it's filling, and how that relates to the wider martial arts realm. If you want to check out the other episodes that we have, you can find them at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com, and you can find all of our products, from our great sparring gear to our apparel to recently we launched kicking targets, paddles, and those are out there, and, and we've got limited stock on those, but they're it's a great product. You've got different colors on both sides, which expands your option for running drills with them. We're always trying to make things just, you know, at least better. 30% better is my rule. If we can't make it 30% better than what's out there, we're not going to do it. And for those of you that are part of our wholesale program, yes, those are available on wholesale and retail, whistlekick.com and wholesale.whistlekick.com. If you're a school owner and you're not signed up for our wholesale program, you should check it out because we have no minimums and free shipping. All right, let's talk about the heart of today, why I am on the microphone at this moment. Today, I am pleased to really push out into the world that we have a website that we have sort of sponsored. You're not going to see Whistlekick mentioned all over it or really hardly anywhere on it. And it's marshalljournal.com. And this website came from my personal desire to spend more time reading the thoughts of martial artists, not specifically to one style and not specifically from one person, but something broader. If you think about the homepages for something like MSN or Yahoo or, you know, pretty much any sport or passion out there, there's a website that is dedicated to giving people a voice and a lot of people a voice. And in the martial arts world, we didn't really have that. We have some magazines that have websites and we have some digital magazines, but they're fairly closed in who they will allow to write for them. And I didn't want that. I wanted a website where if I had a thought and I wanted to spend the time writing it out and really working that thought for others, that I could post it. Now, that doesn't mean that Marshall Journal is just for anyone to just kind of slap their opinions out there. We, we, you know, we have standards. And if you look at the website right now, you won't see a single thing from me. Because I've been doing the editing on the back end, and that's taking the time that I have available that I would be writing. But what you will see is a number of folks, many of whom have been on this show, with their writings and their thoughts on the martial arts as it relates to, excuse me, their lives and their training. In fact, if you enjoy this show, you are likely to enjoy the writing on marshalljournal.com because it really is an extension. The very same spirit that we have of conversation, of self-reflection, of personal growth is what's showing up in the articles over there. And that's not intentional. It's just what's happened because of who's involved. We are, of course, looking for more writers and whether you want to be someone who contributes regularly or you just have one thing you want to put out there, that's fine. Now, full disclosure, none of these folks are getting paid. There is no advertising on the site. But it's a group of martial artists who are, in a sense, collaborating to give you, other martial artists, more content. We're reading each other's work. We're referencing it in the works that we write. And it's so cool. It really is fun. And I'm lucky because... Just as I get to speak with all of these folks on the podcast here, I get to edit, I get to be the first one to read all of the articles, all of the commentary that's coming out at marshalljournal.com. So I hope you will check it out. And let me tell you about 
why I think it's so important that we have something like this. You've likely heard someone say that the internet is a, a democratizing force. It gives people a voice. Well, in the martial arts, we know that we have a few magazines and they're out there and some of them are great. And I'm not going to name names. You know, I don't want to include or exclude anyone. You might have some that you used to read or you still read, or maybe you read them online and I'm not taking anything away from those folks. But what I have found as I have tried to advance Whistlekick is that most of those magazines are not really interested in having new writers come on. The major exception is Taekwondo Life. They happily publish the things that I send into them. And I've built a great relationship with the editor over there, Mark Zerogianis. He's a great guy and we're, we're trying to get him on the show. And if you're listening, Mark, really want to have you on the show. So let, let's make that happen. But I want martial artists to have a voice. And as this show has grown, it is not uncommon. Any of you that have recorded with me for an upcoming episode know that quite often those episodes are booked out months in advance. And I'm realizing that in we, we release on Mondays, 52 Mondays a year, we can only get the thoughts of 52 martial artists per year. And there are so many more of you out there and so many more people with opinions and thoughts and great contributions to the arts that I want to be able to showcase, that I want to read personally, and that I'm sure so many of you want to read as well. Well, how do we do that? We looked at adding additional days. You know, do we have an interview episode come out multiple times per week? And, excuse me, some of you were, were fine with that. You know, we did kind of an informal poll. Some of you said, you know, I have trouble keeping up with twice a week. But on top of that, it was my own time contribution. When we record an episode, that's several hours of my time booking, conducting the interview, the after effects, all of that stuff happening, even with having help from someone who's editing. Shout out to Julius. We, we, need, uh, we need time, right? And as Whistlekick is growing, I'm finding I have less and less of that. So the obvious solution became something in writing, something that required a little bit less time. And as it grows, I won't be doing all of the editing. But what it's led to is this really fun, really wonderful website of just great content. So I hope you will check it out. I hope you will share it. I hope you will consider writing. If you know someone that you think is appropriate to have write, that you think would want to write, yeah, let's do it. And the standards, it's really around quality. It's not so much about content. So if you just wrote a book and you want to talk about the book that you just wrote, let's get a piece on there. If someone at your school just came back from a competition and they want to tell that story, let's get it on there. Because the entire back end of this site is going to push up the posts that get the most traction. And that allows us to have a lot of stuff going. We have, you know, a few posts a week going right now. It's great content. I want to see more. I want to see a few a day. So I'm asking for your help in spreading the word, in writing, in, in whatever way seems best. Let's turn this into a wonderful platform for martial artists around the world to contribute their thoughts, showcases what we were all doing, and, you know, lets us burn some time. You know, a lot of us read stuff on the internet just to kind of burn some time at lunch or in between things. Well, let's burn some time reading about the wonderful things going on in the world of the martial arts, and, you know, maybe you can find some new people you want to follow uh, new people you want to train with at seminars. I mean, there, there's a lot going on out there. And at Whistlekick, we will always put our resources. Because, yeah, even though you're not going to see Whistlekick's name all over this, it's it's a Whistlekick site. We're paying for it. 100% uh, of the expenses are coming from Whistlekick. And it's because I believe this needs to exist. So let's just help it grow. 
If you have questions or feedback about marshalljournal.com or anything else, you can reach out to me directly, jeremy at whistlekick.com. You can follow us on social media at whistlekick. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are the places we are most active. You can find our products at whistlekick.com. You can find the other episodes for this show, whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. And once again, marshalljournal.com. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your consideration, your contributions. I love the feedback that comes in. Makes my day. And until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.